What's going on guys, Strubbers here, and welcome to episode 3 of PGR2 Road to Platinum series. In the last episode we unlocked the Sports Convertible series. I'm going to be carrying on that series today and starting it off with a street race. And as mentioned in the previous episode, we're going to use the Porsche Boxster S, because that's the best for the races in this series. Select Platinum there. And we are in Moscow for the first race. Four cars. And here is a prime example of why not to pick the MR2 or the MX-5 for anything. As you see, just blast past them, straight off the line. And surprise, surprise, the car we're actually up against is the Porsche Boxster. So we're going to have a bit of a race on here. And it's going to be a theme throughout the races in this series that it is going to be the Porsche. It's always the car. You're going to have to try and beat in first place. So, nice little jump there. This is actually quite a wide track. Around the entire track, it could fit about eight cars width-wise. I have no idea why it's such a wide track. But Now, this is the corner where the computer does not know how to take it. So, this is your best chance to overtake the Porsche on this track. And on lap two, it does exactly the same thing. So if you can cut on the inside of him on that corner, puts you in quite good stead for the next corner to carry on cutting inside and yeah, keep the lead there. Save so really wide this track, I'm not sure why. And I nearly lost it actually jumping over here. I jumped straight but then sort of turned as I landed, which nearly spun us out. And I thought I took this corner quite well. Right on the, the limit of the steering, really wide, but then the computer just comes up right behind me, so obviously there's a better way of taking that corner. No idea how, but... And that was actually completely unintentional, taking him out there. I landed, and uh, I must have steered slightly before I jumped, and it just switched into the other Porsche, and smashed into the barrier. It looked completely intentional, but I promise you it was not. And there we see, taking that nicely, cut on the inside there. And that guy has no idea how to take that corner. So, it's definitely um, where you're going to get your advantage in this race. As you see, leaving him for dead now. On this ridiculously wide track. Come up to the finish. Jump to finish. And there we go. Another platinum medal. That one's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Lap, 1,300 kudos. As you see, the Toyota is 11 seconds behind and the Mazda has not even finished. 6,400 kudos nearly and ranked up again. Kudos rank 9. Lovely stuff. And straight into another street race. Quite a stra uh, square track, this one. Square? Can't even, can't even speak. And Porsche Boxster again. Look at all the colours. Which one are we going to go for? Black it is. Not being very uh, adventurous with the colours, was white and now black. <sighs> Welcome to Florence for this race. So we're up against uh, the Z4 and the Honda S2000, so these are the better two cars to come up against. Uh, obviously we're up against the Porsche in front, but you can still get uh, ahead of those. And I have no idea on this corner actually how it did not crash into the inside of that. That was... Yeah, it was about a pixel width wide of hitting the inside of the corner, but straight away, right up behind this Porsche, and you can't take that corner either, so we can cut inside and in there. This track is incredibly square, so basically doing four corners here. And you can see on the mini map that the Z4 is getting dropped quite badly here, so the S2000 and the Porsche, yeah, they can see looking behind, are definitely the better cars in this class. Same acceleration, I think the Porsche got slightly better top speed, so. Bit of a lead here. It's actually quite a short race this one. 25 second lap times. Compared to the size of the other track, this is the, literally the complete opposite. Even 15 miles in the course, actually. They're staying about the same distance behind. So <clears throat> if you can get ahead early on, it's not too bad this one. One and a half seconds behind. Didn't do that corner very well. Got up a little bit, but. As you see, yeah, the Z4 comes around the corner, right at the back of the picture there. Pretty far behind, actually. 
1,300 kudos for that. And total in total, 6,300. And another rank. We just literally go up a rank a race. This will stop eventually when you get to the higher ranks. And the next race is going to be a one-on-one. -on -one. And no prizes for guessing which the car is going to be, who we're against, and what colour did they go for this time? Grey. Wow, really not very adventurous. White, black, then grey. And we're against the Porsche Boxster. What a surprise. It's literally the only car we've been racing against so far in the series. And we've been in the Porsche Boxster, so it's not been the most exciting series. So he takes that little wide car sliding, cut on the inside. Neck and neck here. And you're actually meant to take that corner wide like he does, and I didn't, so. Just a bit of ground there. Quite even this so far. Big straight here, there's no point if we're in the same car, so nothing's gonna happen. I don't even know how to take this next corner. We always end up power sliding and losing a bit of speed. So put them up a bit on this one, using the width of the track. And on this corner I definitely didn't take that right, it way too wide. And he doesn't know. Yeah, there's a theme of the AI on this game. Sometimes not knowing how to take certain corners and going really wide and just basically inviting you to overtake them. So, as you can see there, we're actually quite far ahead now on the second lap. And I've just got to maintain that. Good line through there. See if I can take this corner a little bit better this time. Yep, learnt the lesson. Went a bit wider in that one. The best, uh, the best way of seeing the line seems quite obvious, but there's, uh, there's sort of tyre marks on the road, which I just completely ignored then. <laughs> and yeah, hit the wall. Didn't do very well. So this, you can see the tyre marks going around the circuit. That is sort of an indication of the best line to take. And I think you can only get good line. I don't think you can get um, a different grade of line. You can see the tyre marks there showing you where to go. It's also a good indication of when to brake. Because there's no braking line in this game. So you have to sort of use the... I think there actually on that corner there was some um, some indication to how close the corner was. I don't know if it was in yards or feet or... I was say, oh metres. There you go. Just popped up on the corner there. So meters, you can use you can use those signs to um, if you learn the track, you can see where you need to break. But usually the um, usually the tire marks on the road help you out there. So the next one is going to be a cone challenge, and I went ahead and bought the Honda S2000 for this one. Slightly more power sliding than the Porsche Boxster. You can do it in the Porsche, but. Um, the Honda S2000 is another good alternative if you want to pick yellow there. And uh, 2100 for hard and 3700 for uh, platinum there. This took me, I think this was my fourth attempt on this one. It's not actually too bad, as you see it's quite a nice square um, square track this one. So there's a couple of power, uh, corners you've got a power slide around, there's the first one. Just link up the cone gates nicely. Because of the, it's a square track, you've got basically four straights to sort of slalom down and get in the cones. And here's another power slide that's going to come up. So you've really got to nail that going quite quickly to get to the next cone gate. And onto the. This is actually a little bit smaller, this straight. I have no idea how I didn't hit that cone in there. That was really close. Power slide into a clean section there, and then another cone gate. So that keeps this combo going. Yep. Going straight down here, literally just slaloming down. With another power slide coming up here. And that was ridiculously close again to hitting that cone. Got pretty lucky. Would have been a restart otherwise. Another tip, uh, right before the finish line, just do a little power slide just to get another combo in there. Doesn't matter if you hit the wall afterwards because the race is finished. So 3,700 plus the clean race, and that clean race is also important. So with that, we actually were nearly, well, yeah, just over 300 kudos we passed that. So not too bad, that one at all. And yeah, 
that is going to do it for this episode, guys. Uh, next time we'll be doing these two, the speed camera and the street race, and then also starting the next series. So I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.